All right, we have about a minute before we start. Just really quick, if you're not familiar with the format of these speed sessions, like I'm not necessarily familiar with the format of these speed sessions, each speaker is going to have four minutes to present. Um, I'm going to flash a yellow card to those speakers at three minutes in, and then uh, with 30 seconds to go, I'm going to flash a red card. After the end of the session, we have everybody checked in but one speaker, so we may be skipping over the 1412 time slot. But at the end of the session, we'll get we'll take about five minutes to get each speaker to an individual table, and then you'll have plenty of time to interact with those speakers, ask your questions at that time. All right. So we've got about 30 seconds, but if you want four minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> Um, all right, cool. Well, thanks for coming, you guys. Um, I'm going to slowly start talking while people walk in, I guess. Um, <clears throat> we've been monitoring roadkill at a whole variety of sites in uh, eastern Turkey and in the southern part of the U.S. and in California. Today, I'm just going to talk to you about uh, California data. Roads are bad. Everybody say boo. <laughs> ah, apparently, you love roads. I thought you were going to be very anti-road. Uh, more roads are worse. Um, I just moved to a new university in California a few years ago. And it's a wonderful laboratory to do these types of studies. Um, this shows the same pattern we see at, at regional scales. These are the major roads in Southern California, created at 100 meters and 500 meters. Basically, one third of the county is ag, one third is urban, one third is um, wilderness. So it's a nice place to do these kinds of studies. These are driving surveys. These are actual transects of roads. These aren't point data. These are actual um, real transect data. This, data, this database started being accumulated in 2006. It's opportunistic. We have no money for this. So um, uh, about a fourth of the data is collected by my undergrads. And it's a whole variety of segments. We have a, a lot of surveys that total over about um, 49,000 kilometers driven to date and about 4,000 things in the database. That comes out to roughly about one thing killed every uh, 10 kilometers. Managers really find this data useful. Um, this is only the large things. This is only the mountain lions and deer and things of that nature. The Santa Monica Mountains is an area about a thousand square kilometers. So this is about five large things dying each year per square kilometer. So it's very high kill rate. Um, and we can give them data for the county wide. If we had all the vertebrates on there, it goes up in um, a couple orders of magnitude. When you talk to managers and, uh, about roadkill, generally speaking, the impression given is that in protected areas or relatively intact areas, that's where they think the biggest problem is going to be. Um, because that's where they have their most intact, most diverse populations and communities. And they tend to not to be too worried about cars. Outside of those areas, they think, well, not, not that much roadkill. It's mostly a lot of cars and people. Um, and it turns out what we've been finding is the actual interface is the key area. So um, this is some data um, broken down into core and edge for a series of mountains, coastal mountains, a little more inland mountains, and then a forest area. And it um, might be a little hard to read this first guy here. This is geographically speaking. So if we look just based on where the roadkill is happening, what we see at this large scale is that um, the edge is where stuff's happening. The core has about 40% the kill um, per, per length of road as to the edge. Same thing for this forest, and about, it's about half that for the mountains. Now, managers are right in terms of the density of kill, the effic efficiency of kills. So, um, if we look at how efficient kills are within these core areas, forests, wetlands, what have you, um, cars are really good, um, proportionally speaking, at killing stuff, either, um, and, and the kill rate is uh, uh, significantly higher. If you guys are interested in this, um, we have a new iPhone app that I was hoping, I just checked my email before I started talking, I was hoping it was going to be ready today. It's a, probably another two weeks or so. It's a free downloadable thing. The first version, all you can do is input the data. The next version um, is iterative, and the next version, uh, you guys will be able to query the database. And um, so we're hoping this will be really useful to managers um, around the world. Right now, it's only populated with North American taxa, but soon it'll, uh, it actually has Turkey as well now, actually, but, but that's all so far. Um, so in summary, before I get the hook, um, Roadkill is a major source of mortality for most of the populations we look at. It's probably the number one source of mortality um, in uh, uh, Southern California. Um, there's all kinds of correlates, road speed, vehicle load, all that kind of stuff. But even with that, you can still see these large scale uh, biogeographic patterns. And again, more kills on the edge. Vehicles are more efficient inside these patches. And lastly, download our um, obnoxious iPhone app. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>